What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel today. Happy Monday to you all. Hopefully you all had a great Easter weekend. Mine was, uh, in real life it was fine, in the game it was not so fine. Uh, that is a story that I will get into here in just a minute. Uh, if you've been around the channel for a while, you know I put these videos out every Monday. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. If you've been here for a while, thank you all for your support. Alright, let's jump into this thing. So I was a little bit worried um, on Saturday because I did not have enough crystal or enough shards for a four star crystal. And uh, thankfully, well, I missed the cutoff for Angela. I'll go into more detail here in a second. But uh, they gave me 800 shards, which uh, pushed me over. So we do have one four star crystal open. Usually I have two, but uh, we will settle for one. Uh, I've got 58,000 shards on the premium hero crystals. We've got a couple three stars to open, a couple fully formed, I think. Maybe one fully formed. So let's go ahead and get into this thing. Uh, as I open up this first one, uh, if you've been around for a while, you know how this works. If you're new, then this is how it works. If I open up a four star, or if I get a four star, I should say, from a premium hero crystal, uh, the first person that jumps over onto Twitter and lets me oh, I thought it was going to happen while I was talking about it. Uh, jumps over to Twitter and lets me know who it was I pulled. Uh, the first person that does that, I will send them a gift in game. So hopefully, I don't know, maybe maybe we'll be able to pull something. I think it was two weeks ago. I got magic, and um, I think out of I think this is number eleven. This is eleventh week in a row I've done it. I've only pulled two four stars, so the odds aren't great, but it has happened before. So again, go over to Twitter. First person that comments who it was, I will give. Man. <laughs> it almost happened again twice. Maybe I should uh, maybe I should just repeat the same line over and over again. I'll tell you what, dude, I have some. If you've been around here for a while, you've seen some of these crystal openings, you know I have weird luck. I don't know if that's just me or if that's a normal thing now. I, I feel like it happens a lot more than it used to, where it's like one off of a four star. Uh, but that happens to me quite a bit. Alright, three star, that ain't bad. We will take that. Let me see what signature level he is at. Uh, 99. Yeah, that's what I thought. Awesome. Okay, so getting back to the story, uh, the reason I had such a terrible game or a terrible weekend in game, I decided to go for the featured hero tramp, uh, which last week, uh, the Thursday through Sunday arena was the first running of the Angela. And I, I don't know, I thought her cutoff after looking through uh, some of uh, Marvel True Coast, the cutoffs for their previous champs. There wasn't a lot of hype for her, and I thought that she was going to be somewhere in the high nines to the mid tens. And I thought, you know what, with a couple boosts and uh, you know putting a little bit more time into the game than I have in the past, I think I can easily get to ten, and I'll just push as far past ten as I can. So I went all in, at least for me anyway. You know, I, I put in as much time as I could. And on Saturday night when I went to bed, I was like right at eleven million. I, I felt very comfortable with that. I thought, you know what, I'll get up, I'll put in a few more rounds, I'll try to get to 12, and uh, I think I'll be okay. And the morning, uh, it just, it, it didn't play out like I thought it was going to. Never have enough time on Sundays, but uh, I only got to 11.3 million. And I, even that though, I still was feeling fairly comfortable. And so we went uh, went to church that morning, is Easter morning, we went over to my parents' house for lunch. And somewhere around like 1.30, I checked my phone. And uh, it was the the, the the arena had been over for an hour and a half, so I thought surely the uh, the numbers will be up. And sure enough, I click on there, and what do I see? Um, well, it's it's the it's 800 people is the cutoff, and I see number 801. And when I say that I was like you know really close to the cutoff, I mean I was like actually number 801. I took a screenshot of it. I'll show you here. But uh, yeah, that was that was crushing to me. Um, I don't know, man. I mean, I don't know what the odds are that I could have cut that at 801. I would love to know what number 800, like what their score was. Because if I was off by, you know, just a couple thousand points, I mean, if I would have done anything differently at all, uh, I would have made the cutoff. So I don't know. Maybe it's probably best that I don't know. What really killed me and... Um, and I apologize if you were, I did do a live stream. It was only like an hour and 20 minutes or something like that on Sunday night. Because uh, I was feeling a little bit down and just wanted to take my mind off of it. So I jumped in there. So I, I told this story already in live stream. So if you were in the live stream, I apologize. But I know there was a lot of people that couldn't be there. Um, anyway, on Friday, or no, no, Saturday night at about, 
I think it was about 1.30. I was waiting for a couple of my 550s to uh, cycle through again. I was going to run them through one more time before I went to bed. And I got a little greedy and impatient. I had a couple of rank 2s and a rank 1 that I took in. And that triggered, you know, we get those really hard matchups. I think it was like 24,000 PI or something like that. And I, I lost the round. I won one of the three fights, so I lost my streak. And I think I was at like three. Let me check real quick, actually. What was I at? Yeah, 325 is where I was at. And I lost my streak, so I spent, you know, the next 20 minutes or whatever getting back to my uh, five win streak. So on the morning when I got up, I'd have the multiplier there. And at that point, it was like 2 o'clock, and I needed to get to bed, so I didn't do any more fights. So that really, I think, if, if I could do anything over again, uh, I think that is really what uh, what hurt me the most. Because I probably lost out on several hundred thousand points uh, by having to, to redo my streak there instead of running through my 550s. So that was my bad. I just got a little bit impatient. But uh, what are you going to do? Anyway, on a lighter note... I did do my very first live streams. I did one on Friday night and I did one on Sunday night. Uh, the one on Friday night, uh, I really was not sure how it was going to go, to be honest. I had done a couple of unlisted test streams. Nobody had seen them, uh, but I was kind of messing around with my settings in OBS, messing with, some, uh, messing with some of the settings in Elgato. And for whatever reason, I just could not, I could not get a... Uh, a test stream that would that would run without lag. I was having a lot of lag issues and my upload speed was fine. Everything looked fine, but for whatever reason YouTube was screwing me over. And I know from watching some of the other um, MCOC YouTubers, they've been having some issues. So I don't know if it's just me and my connection. I think it may be more a YouTube thing, but I, I say all that just to say that Friday night when I came in, I decided to do a live test stream. I just, I really was not sure how things were going to go. And uh, thankfully, it went off without any issues. Everything streamed fine. And I think I ended up, uh, I think I streamed for almost, I think it was almost two hours. But uh, I was just grinding, uh, grinding for Arena, uh, grinding for Arena, grinding for uh, Angela in the Arena. And I had a good time. Had quite a few people stop by. And that, that actually blew my mind more than anything. I was hoping for like, you know, maybe 20 people to come by. It was late. I think I started it at about 10 o'clock my time, ran it through midnight central time. Uh, so it was pretty late for people on the East Coast, but uh, we fluctuated like right between 80 and 100 people for most of the stream after we got into it. And uh, I don't know, couldn't be more excited, couldn't be more happy for the support. And then the same thing, Sunday night was kind of a last minute thing and uh, pretty much the same numbers. And I think it was right around 88, I think was the highest number we hit. Uh, but for the first two streams and me really not knowing what I'm doing, um, really, I couldn't be more happy for those results. So Definitely, if you miss the streams, um, I don't really have necessarily a like a set schedule for my streams yet. It's just something that I'm kind of doing when I have the time. So what I try to do, uh, and if you haven't followed me yet, uh, make sure you follow me on Twitter. I try to send out a tweet if I'm thinking that there's a strong possibility that I'm going to be able to stream. I'll shoot out a tweet, let you guys know that I'm, I'm leaning that way. And then probably like 30 minutes or so before I actually go live... I will send out another tweet just to let everybody know. And uh, that's kind of how you can keep track of all that for now. At some point here, hopefully in the next couple of weeks, I can get that thing down um, you know, to a, to a more scheduled time so people will know. Uh, but in the meantime, that is how you can find out when I will be streaming. So I, again, I appreciate everybody that came by. In fact, we had a couple of people that donated. My wife was on there. People were donating to her for the diaper fund uh, for our son that's going to be born here in a couple of months. So... Really, the sport, like I said, is overwhelming. I don't mean to sound like a broken record, but uh, it really is. Oh, man. I thought that might click over one more time to Rogue. All right, what do we have left here? I did a lot of talking there. I think we've only gotten... We gotten one three-star? I feel like we... No, I think we got, uh, we got a Winter Soldier in there, too, while I was talking. I get to talking and not paying attention, and the next thing I know, I've blown through 30 crystals. I can't remember what I've got. Let's see here. Let's see if we can start this off with the three star. This last bundle here. There we go. Kamala Khan. <clears throat> Kamala Khan. I don't know. I've got a soft spot in my heart for Kamala Khan. She, uh, she actually hits pretty hard. If you can figure out how to build up those Furies and you can keep them going, uh, she does. She does hit pretty hard. I haven't actually decided yet. I, I know in the live stream on Sunday night last night, I was saying that there was no way I was going to go for a feature champ again for a while. But 
What is it right now? It's about 1.30 right now. I'm sitting just under a million points. The arena, uh, the Angel Arena, the second round started. And I don't know how I feel. I mean, now that I know where the numbers are going to be, I, I know I can definitely do it, especially having a little more time the last day of the arena on Thursday to be able to put in more points. I feel very comfortable that I could do it. But it just eats into so much of my creative time in the evenings when I would be making videos. And I've already planned a couple of videos, which I, I kind of went through all that in the stream last night. But I plan on doing a uh, closer look on Ghost Rider and possibly Quake. Both of those I'm hoping to squeeze in this week. Uh, I've got a guide on the road to Labyrinth, the last chapter. I've had a lot of people request that, so we're going to go through that starting this week. Um, you know, and if I if I'm grinding for Angela, there's a good or there's a good chance that one of those videos is going to get dropped. So I'm not sure what I want to do, to be totally honest with you. I don't want to uh, I don't want to let my uh, my disappointment in my first arena kind of dictate what I do moving forward. But I don't know. We'll see. I guess you'll know here by the time this video is out if I'm if I'm going for it. If I'm going for it, I will probably stream. Um, I don't want to say tonight, but I'll probably end up streaming a couple of nights uh, during the arena. All right, we got four crystals left. We have not uh, not seen a four star. Have been very close to several four stars, but uh, nothing so far. In fact, not a whole lot of three stars either. I was hoping maybe if we could get uh, a lot of three star crystals, maybe we could get some max signature stones, get some more shards, and possibly get to two four stars. But it doesn't look like that is going to happen. The problem that I ran into this week was that I switched alliances. Uh, there you go, Gamora, one off again. I switched alliances midweek last week, so that means that I missed out on a lot of the bigger events that you get shards for. Uh, mainly the uh, summoner advancement, I did not get any shards from that. Uh, the first arena when I joined, I did not get any shards from that that was running. And I think I actually missed a second arena. I think that's how that went. Uh, but I also did not participate. What was the arena before the Angela one? I shouldn't say that. It was Quake. Yeah, that's what it was. So I got Quake in, in the uh, basic arena, so I didn't get any shards for that. So all in all, I missed out on probably close to a thousand shards there. And Iron Fist. So we do end it with a max signature stone, which we will pop those open. One of these days, I always say I'm going to save these things up, which I never do. All right, we'll grab these. One of these days, I'm going to see an Immortal Iron Fist there. Would love to get him as a four-star. I don't even have the regular Iron Fist. But the shards aren't bad. Anything else here? Oh, yeah, there we go. There's a three-star. We'll open. I did open my Howard the Duck Crystal last night um, on the live stream. Got a three-star. No surprise there. Open up one more of these. We'll jump over. We've got some three-stars to open. I know I'm blowing through all these things quickly. Man, we were really close there to picking up one more, <laughs> one more three star. All right, nothing new there. Let me see where we're at on signatures. 25 and 79. Okay, getting close. All right, so that puts us into our four star. This is probably one of the quickest uh, crystal openings I've ever done. Yeah, 3,400. Okay, so we're not sitting too bad. We definitely will be able to get one. Um, or not one, but two. We should be able to get two four stars for next Monday, but who do I want to see? Well, I've had several uh, several uh, champions that I've wanted for a long time that I've pulled the last couple of weeks. I've had really, really good luck in my four star openings. Uh, Thor, I wanted for a long time. got him. Uh, Quake got her out of the basic arena. Rogue got her out of the basic arena. Those were all three at the top of my list wanting to get. So right now, off the top of my head, if I had to say who I'd like to see, uh, Agent Venom, I would really like to see. Phoenix is definitely high on my priority list. I need her for the prestige, but she will be coming up. I believe she is the basic this Thursday. So, I mean, I would rather not pull her. I'd rather get her in the basic and then pull her to get the 20, uh, 20 levels on my signature ability. But uh, that wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. If I dupe my rogue, that would be okay. Uh, again, for her prestige. I'm trying to think. Oh, Red Hulk. That was the other one I was thinking of the other day that I don't have. Uh, Ghost Rider. I'm going to do some testing on him. Uh, that was another character I pulled recently I really wanted. Uh, would like to have him duped. Uh, Mordo, Voodoo. Obviously would like to see them as well. Okay. Let's spin this thing out. Let me see if there's anybody in the reel that I did not mention that I would like to see. 
trying to think right now if there's any any characters I don't have duped. Uh, Quake would like to have duped. Hyperion, that's who it was. I knew there was one that I was missing. If I could get a Hyperion, that would be awesome. All right, I'm gonna... Yeah, okay. I was getting ready to pop it, but I knew it was about to finish. Venom. Eh. I think he's at... Uh, is he at 40 or 60 now? Of oh, 20. Yeah, he's at 42. Which I had him at 550 for a long time, uh, just because I thought he was cool. But uh, with the rank down tickets came through, I did take him down to 440. Uh, still an awesome character, but just not a whole lot of use in the game, to be honest with you. Well, I think, uh, is it safe to say that my luck has run out? We were on a really good streak there for a while with a, that began with a Psylocke pull. Uh, when I got her from that one Frosty Crystal. Then we got Thor, Ghost Rider. Uh, who was the other one? Maybe it was just Thor and Ghost Rider. Uh, we duped Crossbones, we duped Nightcrawler. So it looks like possibly, possibly my luck may be running out. We will see. Not the worst thing in the world, but uh, definitely not who I wanted. I will mention before we get out of here that I'm getting very close to another. Yeah, that pushed me over 6,000 already in the five-star shards. I don't know. People always ask me about going for the featured five-star heroes, and I have not had any desire to do that in the past. But it seems like we're definitely picking up a lot more five-star shards than we ever have before. So that 15,000 seems, like, uh, seems like we may get to that fairly quickly. I think it was only... What I say it was two weeks ago, off the top of my head, uh, that we pulled Ant Man. I guess you could correct me in the comment section, but I, I think it was two weeks ago. So, on this pace, you know, in another two weeks, we're gonna be, you know, well over ten thousand. So I don't know, maybe by, maybe by the beginning of next month, we'll have around fifteen thousand. I have no idea who's gonna be the featured hero at that point, but I don't know. I'm kicking it around. Let me know in the comment section what you think if I should go for it or not. I've always been kind of uh, turned off by the idea of spending 15,000 shards and getting an Iron Patriot, but I don't know. Maybe we'll go for the gamble. Anyway, I appreciate you guys stopping by. We do this every single Monday, like I mentioned before, if you're new to the channel, so look out for the uh, crystal openings on Mondays. We'll have some closer look reviews coming. We'll have a couple guides coming to the channel this week, so keep an eye out for that. Follow me over on Twitter so you'll know when I will be live streaming. Hopefully, we'll get a couple of those up this week. Until the next video, I will see you all then. Have a great day.